Well, you probably can't see it from here, but that's a wild wild right down in the corner, not far from where I live. 189. 189. Now, that's not as good as some of you guys in Texas got it, but it's the best I've seen around here in a long time. I'm going to have to stop in here and get me a little bit. I got about a half a tank. But at 189, I'm going to get, up, get some more. Good gracious, 189. That's fantastic. Look at that. Yes, sir, boy. Let's go right in this little spot right here and get us some gasoline. Well, I'm headed home. I got the uh, knives from the tire store. And I was thinking about going to the beach, believe it or not. But as you can see, let me turn my wipers off. It's starting to rain again. It ain't heavy, but you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. As it builds up on the on the windshield here, it's nothing. Uh, hello, spectacular. But it's enough for me not to go. Funny day. You can see we got a lot of water, like I showed you from from the uh, video this morning all up and down the street well it's about 11 o'clock 11 no 10 45 I think I got a the last cataract appointment I hope with my eye doctor at 20 minutes. I hope I'd be done with all that. After that, it's, I mean, I'm supposed to be done with it. Then I'm probably going to go to the dirt. It's a beautiful day here. It's about it's going to be in the mid 50s. Bright, sunny day. Lots of people walking around. You see them. get back to you. I upgraded this camera. Seems like whenever I did some videos, if I did 20 or 25 videos, I would get a lot of black screens with nothing on them. So I called uh, GoPro and it talked to a guy and he said, well, do this newest update. And if you have any more issues, let me know. So We'll check it out. Well, we're getting ready to embark on our first little spin here in the dirt. This is a, a scoop Eddie made about a couple months ago. We used them the other time we went dirt digging. He's modified it and now he's drilled a bunch of holes in it. He's moved this up. This foot brace used to be right there. So he moved it up about three inches and he's drilled holes all the way down the shaft from the top all the way down to the bottom to lighten it up some. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? We'll see how it does. You can see it's right on the river here. It used to be an old farm back here somewhere in the 20s and 30s. Maybe into the 40s. Some big fancy houses over there on the other side. Well, I dug a, I've dug two cans, two pull tabs, some other odd crap. But uh, Woodpecker, he's been having a good time. Look at this, Woodpecker, Woodpecker. <laughs> he's been working out that Woodpecker ass. Woodpecker. Well, we've got a bullet, finally something different, a lead bullet. But here's the problem with Eddie's scoop. You see, when a hole gets deep, you can't get that down in there for that footrest. 
and you can't pull back on it because the foot rests on the ground. Okay for shallow targets. I think we got to cut that off and put a little piece across here. But it's alright for shallow, just not too good for deep. Well, that's practice, you know what I mean? Well, so much for this hot goose. The bullet was the best of it. <coughs> I'm going to another spot where there should be some coins. I'll get back to you. Well, I got the little coal on here and I got the digger. I'm not even carrying a shovel to, with this stuff. Probably have a sensitivity like 13. Park one. Well, the first target was a bottle cap. I want to say about five or six years ago in the wintertime, me and Beaver and the Guru hunted in here. We found two gold rings. Same day, together. Me and Beaver, we, we both found one. And we got a 23-24. Let's see what that is. Stand by. Born of the day. A stinking Lincoln. Yes, sir. -y. Lincoln. Gotta start someplace. There's Gray Matter City right over there. A lot of people walking. I don't see anybody hunting. Tides uh tides just about low there right now. Hard to go. I got my scoop. I think I'm going to pass. I'll be home in about five minutes. Recliner's calling me. Well, the dirt, the dirt wasn't too productive either. I got a nickel and a penny and lots of doodads and a few cans that I didn't bring home. So tomorrow, I guess we'll go to either ride over to the button patch or try the land of Nada again. See how it goes. Well, I don't know how it is with y'all, but life in Virginia, as we know it, is changing tonight at midnight. We just went to our favorite Italian restaurant and got two dinners to go. As of tonight at midnight, all the restaurants can have to close. They can only serve food to go. A lot of them are going to close up entirely. All, only essential stores can be open. Uh, laundry mats, dry cleaners, grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations. I think that's it. Can't get your hair cut. You can't get your wife's hair cut. Can't go to the movies. You can't go to any theaters, anything like that. Shuts down tonight at midnight. So let me know how it is where you are. I'll get back to you tomorrow, somewhere, some way, somehow. Now I might as well show you what we're having for dinner. This is what they call pizza bread. You take pizza dough, cut off little pieces of it, you make little biscuits out of it, or rolls I guess you would call it. But they call it pizza bread. Here we have a small antipasto salad with maybe the best Italian dressing I ever had in my whole life anywhere. And over here we have linguine and meatballs. That's for my leader, Chris, and I'm having chicken parmesan with linguine. It's really good, chicken parm. What do you think, Big O' Jack? You like it? Big O' Jack, yeah, you Big O' Jack. And a teeny Indian, what are you doing, teeny Indian? And a big boo-boo. What are you doing, boo-boo? Say hi, everybody.